Gota's again the target, up against Gale, he's got past Gale, good strength from Gota, Collett's come out, he's not going to stop it though, 27 minutes in, City lead 1-0. Should be Gales, oh, he's left it, and Gota's got go side of him, uh, Collett saves it this time, and Brian Gale will be thankful for that. Tinian, Gota, another chance for Gota. And this time, he makes it count, and City lead 2-0. Gota again turns away. Oh, so nearly got his hat-trick to Sean Gota. Well, Rovers desperately need an early reply here. And they have a chance. And City just can't clear it. Still not clear. Blocked. Hacked away in the end by Hewlett. That's a deeper ball. Tilson. And he's grabbed over the lifeline with five minutes left. Coming in, come in into these games, you know, because I know how much it means to the people who are watching. Uh, so they put great emphasis on this one game, whereas I've got to look at an overall performance. And to get, to get three points in any game is very pleasing for us. And obviously for our supporters, it's a, it's a bit nicer here. But for, from my point of view, I'm just pleased we've won another game. Yeah, it's a big game for us where both teams need to win. And hopefully we can get the win, that gets us to promotion. Obviously City's performance has been improving of late and uh, Rovers form dipping, but that doesn't usually mean a lot in these kind of games. How no. do you think you're going to play today? Yeah, it's going to be tough. Um, derby games don't really make any difference. And, uh, as you see, the lads are in good spirits and hopefully we can perform to the best of our ability and get a win. I see everyone taking this really seriously. Go ahead, Okay, try again. So, how are you feeling before today's big game? It's a, it's a big game, uh, I think the lads are looking forward to it. Uh, you know, get in 23 points. What he said was, uh, today is a really important game and we really need to get three points. That's what he said. Thanks very much for that yeah, He scored 16 goals. <laughs> what he said was... <laughs> well, everyone at uh, Red Brick wishes everybody a real good time today and another three points and obviously another win over the gas. Yeah, it'd be, good, it'd, be good, it'd be good to get three points, uh, especially over the, over the gas. Murray with a flick on. Gets it back from Torpy. Can Scott Murray get across and he can. Go to him to get a push. This time it's a penalty. And I don't think there's too much doubt about that. And Pritchard protests his innocence. But I think that was a quite blatant push from Pritchard on Gota. It's Bell up against Collett. Can Mickey Bell make it count? He can! 35 minutes gone. And City have the lead 1-0. Side in. Cram up against Pritchard. Makes a yard of two for the cross. Foster with the header. Edwards. Had a knock down the line for Murray. Murray does well to take it in his stride. Does well to get it across as well. And that is a great goal by Sean Gota. A quite superb finish to a quite superb Scott Murray cross. Fifty-eight minutes in, City lead 2-0. And as I said, that came about with some real determined play from Scott Murray. He did well to get on the end of the Adam Lock pass to start with, but even better to stop it going behind. And then finish it off with a quite superb cross. And quite frankly, Sean Gota does not miss those.
next Saturday's trip to Home Park, whilst on international duty. And certainly Scott Murray's not giving him much hope of getting his place back now. This was a Colin Cram to make it three, goes for the chip. Oh, that's so unlucky, but also a quite brilliant save by Collett. Colin Cram looked up, saw him a couple of yards off his line and went for the deft as the finishes. And uh, it really would have put the seal on it for City. Collett did really well to get back and stretch an arm out to tip that over. Hewlett, that's too deep. Scott, we uh, spoke before the game. You said you were looking forward to your first Bristol derby. What did you think about it? I thought it was tremendous. I came out uh, just before the game and the atmosphere was unbelievable. And then as the game got on, it was just getting louder all the time. And then when we got the penalty and uh, Mickey stuck it away, I thought the roof was going to come off, to be honest. It was unbelievable. And then as we, as we were going on, I think we were dominating the game. We've had more chances there. They haven't really had a shot and goal. And then we've got a second goal. And I think, I think Rovers knew it was over as soon, soon as that second goal went in. I think, to be honest, I think they battled well. And uh, I hope, hopefully for Bristol. I hope, I hope they got in the playoffs, to be honest. Did you actually enjoy yourself? That's probably the main question. Oh, I loved it. I loved every minute of it. And in the end of it, I was absolutely knackered. Couldn't even run around. I think if I stayed around a couple of minutes, I'd have been taking cramp all over. It was just oh, it was unbelievable playing a diary. Hopefully there'd be more of them. I think everyone's noticed that since you came into the side, your pace has been getting quicker and quicker. And that obviously played a major factor in the second goal. Uh, we'd obviously given it up for the ghost, and then suddenly the ball came in. What did you see about it? <laughs> to be honest, I think most of the people given up. And I've never actually seen uh, Sean putting the ball in the net. And uh, I'm just lucky for me, I've got my foot around the ball. And it was not, I haven't even seen him scoring it yet. But I just had the crowd, and that was it. <laughs> they were all jumping up and down and kissing each other and everything. But it was just oh, it was unbelievable.